Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makkah, Kadash, Barak, Atham. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, Haru Will. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect individual. This is your brother Izar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. Today I want to talk about seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Okay, that word seek means to attempt to find, attempt or desire to obtain, okay, search for, find someone or something. So to seek the Lord is to look for him, okay, to uh, attempt to look for him, you know. When you seek for something, you try to look for it, all right. Now, let's go to the book of... Um, Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of, Yah of Yahweh, okay? The kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. What can you do to build up his kingdom, okay? What can you do to make him happy, okay? First of all, it says, um, uh, um, what does it say? It's like you brothers. I, I, did, I had it on the tip of my tongue and it just left me. Um, uh, what was it? What was that precept? Um, seek ye first the king. I mean, no, I just read that. Um, uh, oh, I forgot. I can I forgot, I can, if it comes back to me, it comes back to me. That's, that's Shaitan, man. That's Shaitan. Uh, what was I at? Yeah, seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Oh, I know the words. The beginning of the, uh, the, the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of our wisdom. Okay? So, first, one way you can seek the Lord is attain wisdom. How do you attain wisdom? By fearing the Lord. Okay, fearing the Lord, and then when you fear the Lord, you start uh, 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 doing what the Lord wants you to do. What does the Lord wants us to do? He wants us to honor the laws and statutes and commandments. Um, you know, He wants us to study to show ourselves approved. He wants us to be obedient. You know, um, I did a, another another lesson on being merciful. He wants us to be merciful. He wants us to be faithful. You know, there are a lot of things uh, that the Lord wants us to be. He has a certain standard, okay? He has a certain standard. But what you need to do first to get on his good side is seek him, okay? Seek him. Well, I'll take that back. The first thing you need to do is fear him. After you fear him, then you seek to do what he wants you to do, okay? But the first thing you got to do is fear him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of our wisdom. Once you realize that you are, that you realize His power, how great His power is, you're going to seek what you can do to help build His kingdom. You're going to seek what you can do to stay alive. You're going to seek what you can do to make Him happy. You're going to seek what you can do to um, help build the kingdom. Okay, all right. All right, let's go to uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy 29 and, no, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29. All right. Jeremiah 29. And 13. Then shall you call upon me. Hold on, wait a minute, it's like you. Is it 29 and. Okay. And ye. Okay, 29 and 13. Jeremiah 29 and 13. And ye shall seek me and find me. You shall search for me. With all your heart. Okay, so if you seek the will of the Heavenly Father, you'll find it. You know, if you seek wisdom, you'll find it. Okay. It says, 
and ye shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. So in order to seek the, the heavenly father, you have to do it with all your heart. And that requires faith. OK, that requires a lot of faith. OK, when you when you uh, go online and look at videos, when you go online and uh, do pre, uh, do lessons and stuff, you're diligently seeking, seeking the the uh, uh, the, the Lord thy power, what you can do for him to help build your kingdom. And that's beautiful because a lot of brothers, they have all this intelligence of breakdowns and stuff, but yet they still they, they, they want to do more. You know, and especially, you know, I, I'm in, the, in Miami camp and those brothers, they have the heavy, heavy, heavy spirit on them. And, you know, they when they go out there on the highways and the hedges, they bring it out. They bring it out. When we go to fellow, when we go to fellowship together, they bring it out. You know what I'm saying? And it's edifying. But they continually seek the will of the Heavenly Father and they do it with their heart. You know what I'm saying? What did it say in, um... Jeremiah 29 and uh, 13, and ye shall seek me and find me. You shall search for me with all your heart. So if you if your heart is not into seeking uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, nah, man, it's all for nothing, man. It's for nothing. It's vain glory. What's the purpose of seeking uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah if you, if you ain't going to put your heart in it? Some brothers will get into this thing because it's trendy because they have the nice garments they're in this thing to pull women you know what i'm saying and you know women like power women like hearing, hearing some brothers talk about you know certain stuff you know but hey you got to be in it with all your heart okay to please the heavenly father man okay See, uh the beginning of uh uh the fear fear is the beginning of wisdom okay all right, and then when you once you become wise, once you establish you, uh, that be, once you get in, once you uh, realize that, then you start to seek the heavenly Father, man. That's when you start doing, um, you know, learning Hebrew, recognizing the Shabbat, uh, Passovers, you know, um, the atonement, you know, and and uh, uh, learning 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 new things, you know, hanging out with Akim and. You know, we do what the elders tell us to do because they're, they're the heads, you know. They're the heads. The heads. All right? But, yeah, man, seeking the Lord is very important, man. Um, uh, got some of my eye. Ah, oh. Um, let's go to Deuteronomy 4. Okay, Deuteronomy 4 and 29. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. I just read that. Didn't I just read that? I just read that, right? So you got to seek the Lord with all your heart and all your soul, man. Your soul has to be into it. You know what I mean? You know how like some people have a hobby. Uh, some people have a certain type of job that they do well. They put all their heart, mind, and soul into it. Well, for this truth, man, you got to put your heart, mind, and soul into it. You know what I'm saying? On a daily basis. Not just on Saturdays when you're out there on the highways and the hedges. Not just on the, the one day a week. You know, you may have fellowship. You know what I'm saying? This is 24 hours, 7 days a week. You know what I mean? And me and the brother would uh, talk tonight, actually. We were talking about how most of our spare time should be uh, in, we should be in the truth, you know? But, you know, it's not going to happen all the time. All right? It, you know, you know, because you, you're tired, you come home from work, you know? Um, but, hey, the most high is watching you, man. He knows your heart, he knows your mind, and he knows your soul. He made all that. So if you if you're not seeking the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, man, hey, you better watch out. You better watch out. All right. 
So I suggest if, if your heart, mind, and soul is not in this truth, you best better put it in it. Because the most I don't play. Alright? You don't want his judgment. You don't want him to show you judgment without mercy. Alright? <laughs> Alright, brothers. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Wakaka Dash Baraka Thom. Till next time. Shalom.